stay tuned for this important tip. From our garden to yours. Are you used to purchasing vegetable plants from your local garden center? Did you know that you can grow your own from seed? Richard Tyson, our County Extension Director and Vegetable Expert, is here to tell us how. Welcome, Richard. Well, thank you, Celeste. I enjoy walking around the garden centers and buying transplants and planting them, but it's just as exciting to start your own transplants from seed, and there's a lot of different uh, materials available out there that you could purchase and use, and we're going to talk about that today. I'll show you some of the ones that, that I used for today's show. Uh, these are Oasis Cubes. Uh, they're available commercially and you start the seeds individually in each cube and when they're ready to be transplanted, you take the cube off, put it in the ground, cover it up with the plant above the soil and another type of germinating material is called rock wool and these are rock wool cubes. Uh, these are both basal plants that were germinating in, inside these different uh, germination media. And uh, it's really interesting and exciting to watch these things come up because a lot of times they'll come up within 24 or 48 hours once they're ready to germinate. It's just, it's, it's very, a lot of fun. And what's the purpose of these using these different types of cubes? Well, uh, one of the advantages to using the cubes instead of the soil, especially if you start them indoors, where you have air conditioning, say around 75 degrees, is that, is that the conditions are perfect for seed germination. You can moisten these things up, uh, wet them down, or, or use misters to keep them moist, don't let them dry out. And indoors, under, under good temperature conditions, they'll, they'll germinate as quickly as those seeds are designed to germinate. Of course, some seeds will germinate quicker than others. I've got uh, three different uh, varieties of basil here. And basil is a pretty quick germinator and very uniform, as you can see. Uh, the next one is lettuce, and that came up pretty uniformly. Uh, you'll know this is pepper on the lower side here, and there's some uh, vegetable transplants from seed that start, uh, they germinate slower and they germinate less uniformly. And pepper and tomato are, are examples of ones that you have to take a little bit more time with. And that's another reason why they're better germinating uh, your own rather than putting them in the garden because they're a little bit variable out in the garden. Once they get grown up, then you can plant them where you want to and you're ready to go. Now, I noticed you also have some little peat pellets okay. here. Now, this and is probably the most common uh, germinating media that you're going to find in stores, in garden centers, with the exception of regular potting soil. This is a compressed peat pellet. You moisten it up and within about 24 hours it'll pop up to about this size and then you can plant into it. Now this is one that we moistened up uh, yesterday so it's already come up. And if you were going to plant this, you would make the holes in the center a little bit larger. This is all very moist and ready to go. And you can either plant the seed by hand or you could get a little dibble which is usually available at most garden centers as well and you could add seed to this and then slowly uh, meter it out into the hole. I like to use uh, pelleted seed if I can get it. If you have real small seed, if you can get it pelleted with a little bit of uh, clay matter surrounding the seed, it'll be much more easier to handle and quicker to germinate and give you more uniform germination. The pelleting just makes it a uniform size so it's easier. Now I noticed you're putting more than one in each in each slot. Yes, uh, seeds do not germinate 100 percent. Matter of fact, if you get 80 percent germination, you're lucky. Uh, that's another thing you need to consider when you go buy seeds in the store. If you find seeds that are out in the garden center in the heat uh, and they're for sale there on a rack, don't buy those. If the garden center has them inside in the air conditioning, those are good. Another way that you can check and make sure you have high germination seed is look on the back and they'll usually have a germination percentage and the date that they were checked or that the percentage was checked. So it might say 94% uh, February of, of 2010. So you know it was checked several months ago and it was 94% so it should be good now. Now if that same seed is out in the garden center under the heat, it's probably going to be around 60% by now. So those are some of the things to think about when you're starting your own transplants, making sure you get good seeds that germinate well. 
So some of the advantages of you can have control over what you're actually growing. Mm -hmm. You can pick your own from a garden center or you can go from catalogs. And then they're ready to go. Once they're, this germinates, mm -hmm. you have a plantable pot that can go right out in the garden. That's true. And also one other thing about choosing. Some seeds you're better off just planting right into the garden. Uh, big seeds like uh, snap beans or squash, they'll germinate in two or three days very quickly, so you're kind of wasting your time going through the transplant process with these types of uh, vegetables because they're going to pop up real quick in the garden. So you're better off just planting them directly into the garden and watering them and let them go. Richard, we're out of time, but thanks so much on showing us how to grow plants and transplants from seed. Thanks, Celeste. It's easy to grow vegetables from seed. If you haven't tried it, now's a good time to start so you'll have your transplants ready for the fall garden.